Hello everyone, today in Sangi's Cookery, we're going to see how to prepare a perendai oil. Perendai is actually a creeper which is easily grown in different parts in India. Perendai oil is a medicinal oil and this is extremely useful especially in curing the knee pain or, or any bone related issue and also for arthritis people it is really helpful and it is also said that it heals fractures very easily. So uh, this is a very easy preparation, it takes very less time if you have all the ingredients which is ready. So before we go into the preparation as to how to prepare this medicinal oil, if you are watching my video for the first time, I would request you all to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell icon for further interesting recipes and notifications. A handful of welded grape or the adamant creeper as it is called, in Tamil it is called as a perende. For this I have taken around 200 ml of the gingery oil, about half of a lemon, one small lemon size tamarind, 6 to 7 flakes of garlic and 2 pinches of cooking camphor. So first we are going to heat up the oil, uh, I have heated up the gingery oil. So while the oil is getting heated up, I am just going to cut the welded grape or the adamant creeper into small pieces. So before that what we are going to do is we are going to just peel off the sharp portions of the adamant creeper and then chop it into small pieces like this. So basically it will be attached like this. So we first we have to cut it into like this. We have where the nodes are there we have to just break it. We can break it with our hands itself and then then cut it. And before that I would suggest that you need to apply some oil in your hands preferably some coconut oil or something so that you will not have that itching this is a small tip which i want to pass it on so similarly we're going to chop the remaining perendai into small pieces perendai has got a lot of medicinal value and i've also shown a perendai towel recipe which is very tasty recipe so once the oil becomes hot we can add the chopped perendai so now I have added the chopped perendai in the hot oil. Sometimes you, uh, you may hear the cracking noise of the perendai when you add it in hot oil. But just make sure after you wash the perendai, you dry it completely with a paper towel before you add it in the oil. But even then slight moisture or sometimes the perendai tends to crack but that is absolutely fine. I am also going to add the lemon size tamarind. After adding the lemon sized tamarind and the perendai, let it boil nicely in the oil. While the tamarind and the perendai is getting boiled in the hot gingery oil, I am also going to mash the garlic. I have added 6 to 7 flakes of garlic. These are small garlic, so I have added around 6 to 7. If it's big, you can just add 3. That is more than enough. Smashed garlic. We're also going to add a small piece of the lemon. Let, now let all the ingredients boil in the oil. Another tip which I want to let you know is let's do the entire preparation in the iron vessel. It's got added benefits because of the iron content in the vessel. So if you have an iron vessel, I would suggest that you do it in the iron vessel itself. Once the oil comes to a nice bubbling consistency, keep the oil in simmer for a few minutes. So now it's been about 10 to 15 minutes in simmer. So I'm just going to switch it off. And I'm just going to leave it in the iron vessel itself for some time. At least for a few hours. Say about 5 to 6 hours. And after that I'll be straining. So it's been about 6 hours that the oil is there in this iron kanai. Now we're going to filter it to the bottle. Just going to carefully filter the oil. I have filtered the oil. And you can see the residue. So you have the perendai oil or the adamant creeper oil ready. Finally, I am just going to add the cooking camphor about 2 pinches. This will add a good flavor to the oil. Now we have the filtered perendai oil. This is excellent for the bones and joint pain. So I would suggest that you have to apply it continuously to find results. So I hope you will all try out this medicinal oil. And uh, please pass on your valuable feedback. And if you like it, 
please share it with your friends and families have a great day